Now everybody likes the look of a supercharger hanging out the bonnet, but they are a little bit impractical for day-to-day -day use. However, there is another way of cramming air into the engine and keeping it all underneath the bonnet line. And we're here at Garrett Turbochargers to find out how they work. Garrett Turbocharger, this is where all the hybrids are made. I reckon this is the R&D, hey? Okay, we are in the assembly room for Garrett and I'm joined by the number one gun himself, Rob Stafford, the performance product manager. Thank you very much for having us, mate. Good to see you, Jason. Now, before we get into it, let's just have a quick chat. What do turbochargers actually do and how do they work? Well, they are basically a, an exhaust gas driven air pump, right? Yep. So, just to show you on this one, the exhaust gas passes from the head of the engine through the exhaust manifold into the turbine inlet here. Okay. Passes through the volute. Yes. And comes out the exhaust. Spirals right. its way and shotguns out. Exactly. While no doing so, it's actually driving this turbine wheel. Okay. That's the exhaust that's, that's wheel? Your, that's your exhaust wheel. Yep. Right. So it's driving this. Now yep. the exhaust wheel is connected by a common shaft to the compressor wheel, which is your uh, intake yep. wheel. Yep, so they work right. in unison together. That's right, They're, the shaft is one piece, the compressor wheel is actually uh, bolted or um, t uh, tensioned on there by the nut, yep. right? They work together. This one draws air in, uh -huh. pressurises the air as it passes through the shapes of the blades down to the smaller tip. Yeah, that'll be sharp, don't it? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you wouldn't want to be sticking your finger in there no. while it's spinning in either. Not on boost. Now, so what this actually does is it, the compressor in, while been driven by the turbine then, is drawing yeah. air in through here, through your air filter. Okay. Right. It then passes around the volute of the compressor cover and out through the intake, or the, sorry, the outlet of the compressor housing here into your intercooler, then into the engine itself. So whatever happens on this side, happens on this side. That's right. Fills the engine up full of boost and away you go. That's it. Well, something I was going to ask you now, there's obviously two types of turbochargers. There's a bush turbocharger and a ball bearing turbocharger. Which is the most efficient? Uh, by a long shot, the ball bearing is the most efficient. I suppose uh, internally we notice it because in the days of old we used to do service work, particularly on some of the higher performing uh, race cars, we used to do regular service work on the turbo shows and we'd have the turbo off a particular engine three or four or five times per year to do a freshen up because the bearing, thrust bearing will wear out all this. Uh, and compared to say a roller bearing turbo on the same car? We don't even pull them off anymore. Really? They do, at the end of a season we might have them off just to give them a quick check so and quite often they can there's nothing wrong. We give them a freshen up anyway and put new bearings in them and that sort of thing, but there's no sign of any wear even after a full season. Now down the front here, Rob, we have got an exploded, unassembled turbo. How does this puppy go together? That's oh, quite simple, Jason. It's, um, we've only picked a fairly simple one here. Yep. The uh, diffuser or adapter plate is bolted into the compressor cover there. That's the intake side. Well, that's of the, the intake, yep. right. made of alloy. Yep. The cartridge, or what we call the centre housing and rotating assembly. And that's got all the bearings and everything inside? Bearings, seals, everything that ro rotates is within that little cartridge Beautiful. there. Beautiful. Just sits in there. Yeah. Obviously got to be very <laughs> gentle, otherwise <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't want to bend any bits and pieces. Now this one here, this looks like the exhaust, eh? Hey? It is. Simple as that. Just again, six bolts, simple location process. Just sits over the top of the turbo like that. That's Folded on, positioned to whatever position you want to fit yeah, particular okay. applications. Yep, now I've got to do have to ask you one question. Aluminium and cast, why, why is that the difference? Obviously, one, obviously the answer to that is exhaust gas temperatures, much higher than inlet temperatures. Yep. Um, uh, obviously uh, a fairly um, heat resistant material used in yeah, turbine housing. Yeah, very robust. Okay, so that's how a turbo goes together? That's it, that's a simple one, yep. Beautiful. All right, let's take this baby and put it over there because I want to talk to you a little bit more about this one here. What does this specific turbo offer? That's one of the variations of GT35 that we supply uh, Ford Motor Company. Oh, so this is the XR6 Turbos Turbo, as we'll say, for a bit of reason. 
quite obvious. Okay, well now speaking of obviously the XR6, there's obviously a lot of other vehicles that have turbos fitted. To. How do you correctly choose the right turbo for the right car? Start off with two basic parameters. Uh, the application we're dealing with, yep. um, say uh, off-road races, circuit races, drag races or boats, they all require different performance characteristics. Yep. Um, and the second is the horsepower, that, or the desired horsepower for the engine. Yeah, yeah. And you guys build something for everybody. Which leads me to the next question. Let's just move him aside. Let's talk the long and the short of turbochargers. The guys at home obviously want to see what's the smallest turbocharger that Garrett makes? What have you got for us? Well, the smallest one we actually stock, yep. um, not necessarily the smallest one Garrett makes worldwide, is this little <laughs> GT12. Oh, isn't he cute? Okay, so this is a GT12. What sort of power can something like this sustain? Uh, probably about 100 horsepower on a 500cc engine. Oh, so screaming all the way to red line. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah that's, that's about it. It's a cute little thing. Well, I think I may have found the biggest. Now, Rob and I had a bit of a look around before. Big box, big turbo. Are you ready for this? Have a look at this mamma jamma right here. If I can pick it up. Oh, it's not light. What is this monster? This is incredible. That again isn't the biggest that Garrett make, but it's a GT60. GT60. Um, just to give you some idea of performance on a, a petrol race application, you're probably looking about 2,000 horsepower, single turbo. 2,000 horsepower, it, it's not a lightweight. What, what is this weigh? What does this thing weigh? Oh, it's enough to give you a hernia anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it it's certainly Probably about is. 40 kilos. That is just incredible. I, I had no idea that Garrett made something like this. The turbo side of the performance industry really is taking off, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It has. You know, the last four or four or five years it's really I think if we're, gonna, if we're going to be totally honest, I think the, the whole high horsepower side of things of our industry really is going through. Mm. But one of the guys gave me this brand new toy. You want to talk me through this one here? Yeah, um, got those just before Christmas. Um, they're a turbo speed gauge. Yeah, okay. So, so what, what do they actually measure? They actually measure the rotating speed of the impellers. Fantastic. So it would be a really good diagnostic tool as well, wouldn't yeah. it? It comes in dash mounted form and also uh, there is a plug-in version for your, your data download. Hey, this is really cool. I'll tell you what. Well, look, thanks very much for that. Hopefully you guys at home get a better understanding of how the turbochargers work. And I've got a feeling that the uh, Street Fords on Location crew are going to be back down here at Garrett and checking out their toys in an issue very soon. Thanks very much for having us, mate. You're welcome. This is unbelievable. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge.